All right, number 12, we're going to find the complex zeros of this function, and then we're going to write it in factored form. Okay, so I'm going to do it all by hand. Um, in the homework, I think I showed you how to do some of this with the calculator, but I'm going to do it all by hand here. So we have um, f of x, and then we have x cubed minus 13 x squared plus 59x minus 87. So first I'm going to find the possible rational zeros. So I'm going to take 87 divided by 1. So that's the p over q. The factors of 87, the things that multiply to give us 87 are 1 and 87. And uh, 3 and 29 and I think that's all we will get so 1 3 29 and 8 now on the bottom the only factor of 1 is 1 so you divide each number on the top by what's on the bottom and you have to remember positive or negative so I'm going to list just a positive or negative 1 positive or negative 3 positive or negative 29 positive or negative 87 all right I need to figure out which of these um, actually give us a zero here and um, I just want to pick and choose I'm looking at it I believe it's three I'm gonna guess positive three I'm just kinda looking at what I would do here so when you do synthetic division I'm gonna try positive three to be my zero so that means x equals three as a linear factor if I set this equal to zero that would be x minus three equals zero this would be the linear factor so you're going to need that part at the end, but let's see if 3 works. So we look at our original. We have x to the third, second, first, 0. List your coefficients. We would be 1, negative 13, positive 59, and then negative 87. All right, you bring your first term straight down. 3 times 1 is 3. Subtract, we get negative 10. 3 times negative 10 is negative 30 and subtract we get 29 and 3 times 29 is 87 and we get 0 so it works out 3 is one of my zeros <clears throat> this remaining uh, values are the coefficients of my polynomial so what happens we're really dividing by x minus 3 so I lose one of my degrees I started out with x to the third it is now dropping down to x to the second so this 1 means 1x one squared, and then that would be minus 10x. And then since that's positive, it would be plus 29. And we set this equal to 0, and we're going to do quadratic formula. And so that is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2a. All right, so I'm going to start plugging this in using uh, the res remaining polynomial. So b is negative 10. When I plug it in, it will be a positive 10. All right, b squared, 10 squared will give me 100. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify some of this. 4ac. Okay, so that's 4 times a, which is 1. So that's still 4 times c. So 4 times 30, 120 minus 4, 116 minus 116 and you can use a calculator to compute that so we get this and then 2 times a is just 2 2 times 1 we get 2 all right continuing simplifying we have 10 on the outside plus or minus 100 minus 16 will give us the square root of negative 16 divided by 2 um, the negative makes it imaginary the square root of 16 is 4 so I'm wrapping around, coming down on this side. Um, this gives me 10 plus or minus 4i divided by 2. And again, the 4i comes from square root of 16 is 4, but because it's negative, you get imaginary. Both of these terms are divisible by 2, so we get 5 plus or minus 2i. All right, so all together our zeros are x equals the 3 that we found at the beginning 
and then 5 plus 2i and 5 minus 2i. When we write this as linear factors, we're going to be moving these on the other side of x. And so um, in the factored form, this will be x minus 3. This will be x minus 5. You just change all the signs. And then minus 2i. And then this one will be x minus 5 plus 2i. So you change all the signs to get the factor form. So these are the two uh, forms that we want. So here I'm going to say 3 comma, and then I think we can put it in this form. So I'm going to say 5 plus or minus 2i, and then in um, factor form, x minus 3, uh, x minus 5 minus 2i and then x minus 5 plus 2i make sure okay so that all looks good